Hello friends, in this video I will show you how to display a list of items in a dialog box. Let's start. First, I will display the dialog box when a button is clicked and then I will display the selected item in this text view. The ID of this text view is text view 1. So the selected item will be displayed in text view 1. For that I have to first create a list. Here I will be creating a string list called list1. Now I will add items to this list1. Let the items be names of fruits, mango, apple, and more such items. Banana, grapes, kiwi, Java and Orange Pomegranate Here I have added 8 items to this list After this I will move to on button click First, I will create a new dialog component called dialog. Now, this dialog is actually alert dialog dot builder. So, for this dialog, I will set an adapter so that it displays the list. For that, I will write dialog dot set adapter. Now inside this bracket, I have to add two things. One is the array adapter and next is dialog interface dot on click listener separated by commas. So I will write first the array adapter, a new array adapter, new array adapter and in this bracket, I will first write the context it should be main activity dot this comma next I will write the adapter which will display the items of the list this will be android dot r dot layout dot simple list item one this is a layout which will display the list and after this I will write the list which is list one so this is a new array adapter after writing this new array adapter I will put a comma and next I will write a new dialog interface dot on click listener and in this bracket then I will put this bracket and then I will put curly brackets now inside this curly bracket I will be writing at override public void
on click and in this bracket I will write dialog interface without any spaces dialog inter face interface and a name for it let it be dia comma int and let this int be underscore pos which will be for position now after this i will put these curly brackets so it looks something like this now next let me just make it look better okay now inside these curly brackets I can write what happens when an item is selected so suppose at item at some position is selected then I will display that item from that position in order to display an item at that position I have to write the name of the list which is list1 dot get and in these brackets I can write the position underscore POS so this will get the item at that position now if I have to display it in a text view then I have to enclose it in a bracket and then display it in a text view by writing text view one dot set text so text view one dot set text list one dot get position will display the text selected text in the text view and after this I have to use this blog dialog show now let's check this here when I click this button it displays a dialog with a list view and I can select any item from this the selected item is displayed in the text view similarly instead of displaying the item I can move to another activity like here there is another activity called page 2 activity so if I have to move to that activity then I have to create an intent component let it be I and now I will divide this code I will remove these brackets from the end cut this and paste it in this second bracket it's actually two curly brackets one normal bracket and after that a semicolon so now I have split this code and in between I can add blocks here I will use this block intent I set screen page 2 activity and start activity intent so now if I click anything in this list I will be moving to page 2 and suppose if I want to move to page 2 only if a particular position is selected like if underscore pos is equal to 1 and then opening curly bracket 
and after this intent activity intent blocks a uh, closing curly bracket so here I have used if else and if position is equal to 1 means the second item in list view if I click that there is type mismatch so here I will be writing if underscore pos and then double equal to 1 the second item is apple so if I select apple I will move to the next screen if I select any other item then I will not move to next screen so here if I select mango it is mango and if I select apple I move to this page 2 and I click back button I move back to page 1 uh, if I select any other item I will not move to page 2 so I hope this was useful for you thank you very much for watching this video